Hello everybody, this is the Silver Howler again. I have a question for you. That is, when you hear the word, and or see a picture of an eel, what do you think of? Dangerous? Creepy? Scary? Harmful? Weird? Cool? Now, what do you think of when you hear and see a picture of an electric eel? What comes to your mind? As I have said in my last video, many animals are misunderstood in many different ways, whether it be from things that have happened in the past, or whether it be folklore. We need as a whole to find the truth for ourselves, and not to believe what everybody else says, but to question everything with boldness, and we will find the truth. Now the electric eel is not a creature that I would play around with. Everything having to do with this actual fish describes their amazing control and talent with electricity. Even their name in Latin has to do with voltage, Electrophorus electricus. This is one animal I would stay a respective distance away from, especially in the wilderness, unless you intend on going fishing for one of these, like Jeremy Wade. Electric eels can produce up to 500 volts of electricity and sometimes maybe even more. They can be compared like unto a battery and depending on where they shock determines on how much harm will be done to you. They have the ability to send electric waves for spatial awareness and for food. They are very similar to bats in the way bats use echolocation, only the eels do it with electricity. The cells that create and generate electricity are very similar to the muscle cells in the sense that they can produce electric signals. This is that they can generate electricity and they can paralyze or even kill other creatures. They are mostly blind and like to live in murky, muddy water, which consists of freshwater swamps, floodplains, creeks, coastal plains, and small rivers found in the Amazon and the Orinoco River basins. Also, they live on and in muddy bottoms in the calm, algae-growing stagnate waters in South America. Surprisingly, the so-called eels breathe air, so they rise up to take breaths and are fine if they are out of water for quite some time. But surprisingly, they are actually not true eels. They are a type of fish and in the family of the knifefish. One of the reasons is that the knife fish do not have dorsal fins and neither do the electric eels, but they do have an anal fin which makes it much easier for them to be able to move forward and backwards in the water. Also, did you know that electric eels only use one-fifth of their body to store their organs and the rest of the creature's body is to hold and control the organs that release the volts of electricity? They are one of the top predators, and nothing can or wants to mess with them for food or anything along those lines. Those dots or grooves on the eel's head are what release electricity and are also receptors for what is around them when they let the electric pulse out in their surrounding area. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with these fascinating creatures helping us? Well, not only do they keep the population of shrimp and other invertebrates and crustaceans down, such as bugs that fall into the water, along with shellfish and anywhere from amphibians to other fish, but they can generate and become a source of our electricity. People are trying to make replicas of the energy that these creatures produce. If it works out, we will not need to pay near as much for our electric bills and we will we'll be able to have something more natural that can produce electricity for us. I hope you have enjoyed my video, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to hearing what you thought about the video, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon, and I'll see you around. Thank you.